Hello, Hi, Sciences Lover, and welcome to the video. Today we're going to learn linear regression. Linear regression is one of the most used supervised machine learning algorithms. And now I'm going to explain what it is exactly, how it works, and show you the logic behind it. First of all, what is linear regression? Let's say that two years ago, I made $10,000 on my job. And that last year, I earned 20000 With that in mind, what do you think? How much would I make this year? If you answered $30,000, you just applied linear regression. We make predictions all the time, and most of them follow the logic of linear regression. Linear regression is a machine learning model, which was designed to help you to specify a linear relationship to predict the numerical value of a dependent variable, we will call it y in this course, for a given value of independent variables, we will call them x, by using a straight line, called the regression line. Does that sound complicated? <laughs> it's not. I'll show you. We can say that linear regression will help us make a prediction based on some information. Prediction equals dependent variable y. Some information equals independent variables x. We use linear regression to answer the following questions. Is there a linear relationship between the two variables, x and y? Which x variable contributes the most? Let's write this model as an equation. It goes like this. y equals b0 plus bx plus e. b0 is the value of y, even if the value of x is 0. It's called the intercept. b is a coefficient associated to x it will be a vector of coefficients. E for error denotes all remaining information about y that hasn't been explained by the x variables. Of course, the linear model is not perfect and it will not predict all the data accurately. Okay, we have two types of linear regression, the simple linear regression and the multiple linear regression. In simple linear regression, we use a single independent variable to predict the value of a dependent variable. The model, in this case, will be y equals b0 plus b1x1 plus e. In multiple linear regression, we use two or more independent variables to predict the value of a dependent variable. The difference between the two is the number of independent variables x. y equals b0 plus b1x1 plus b2x2 plus dot 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 plus e. To keep this lesson simple and to help you understand the rest of the course, right now we will focus on the simple linear regression only. The same thing will be replicated in multiple linear regression. The only thing that will change is the number of x variables. Here are some examples of simple linear regression and multiple linear problems. The estimation of the average student score based on the number of hours they have spent studying, 30 hours. Please note that all the students who pass the exam will receive at least two points for their presence. In this problem, the dependent variable y will be the average student score. The independent variable is the hours of study, and it equals 30. The intercept equals b0 equals 1. The regression model we want for the score prediction is score equals b0 plus b1 times our study. Score equals b0 plus b1 times 30. In this model, the b0 and b1 are coefficients. These coefficients are what we need in order to make predictions about our score. If we add the number of exercises that the student has completed to the model, it will become a multiple linear regression model. Score equals B0 plus B1 times our study plus B2 times exercises and B plus. For the prediction of the score, we need to estimate three parameters, B0, B1, and B2. B0, B1, and B2 parameters need to be estimated based on our historical data. To estimate the linear regression coefficient, we need to minimize the least squares or the sum of individual squared errors. In other words, 
That's the difference between the actual value and the prediction. The error of the individual i is easily calculated as the difference between the real value of y i equals y hat i, e i equals y i minus y hat i. We square the error for two reasons. One, the prediction can be either above or below the true value, resulting in a negative or positive difference respectively. If we did not square the errors, the sum of errors could decrease because of negative differences and not because the model is a good fit. Two, squaring the errors penalizes large differences, and so the minimizing the squared errors guarantees a better model. Let's look at a graph to understand it better. In the graph, the green dots represent the true data, and the yellow line is a linear model. The dotted red lines illustrate the errors between the predicted and the true values. In practice, we use the OLS algorithm, that's ordinary least squares, iteratively. In each iteration, the algorithm calculates the sum of the individual squared errors. And in the next iteration, the algorithm updates model parameters to shift the line from the previous position to reduce the squared error. Finally, the best OLS estimators of the coefficients are in these equations, x bar and y bar represent the mean. Now, how to make a prediction? We will use the existing data to estimate the values of b0, b1, through bk. We can do that in Excel, R, Python, etc. After that, we can make all the predictions we want. Please note that linear regression is considered to be one of the most straightforward machine learning techniques and an easy model to interpret, but it has its disadvantages. It will only work if the relationship between the dependent and independent variables is linear. That's it. Now you know exactly what linear regression is and how it works. In our next tutorial, you will learn how to apply it in Python and R. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification button so you can receive a notification when our next course is ready. Enjoy machine learning and see you in the next video.